Short Story 81 The Lost Puppy of Lavender Lane Lavender Lane shimmered under the warm sun. Bees buzzed happily between the purple blossoms, their scent filling the air like a sweet secret. Mrs Honeydew, known for her delicious jams and jellies, hummed as she picked plump blueberries. She wore a wide straw hat and a big smile, her basket already nearly overflowing. Suddenly a frantic bark shattered the piece. Mrs Honeydew turned to see a tiny brown puppy bounding down the lane, tail wagging like a metronome. He yipped and whined, his ears drooping with worry. Oh dear, exclaimed Mrs Honeydew, scooping the puppy up in her arms. He was thin and covered in dust, barely a ball of fluff. His brown eyes looked up at her, pleading for help. Are you lost, little one? Mrs Honeydew cooed, gently stroking his fur. The puppy licked her hand gratefully, whimpering softly. Mrs Honeydew surveyed the lane. There were no houses nearby, no familiar faces. She decided to take the puppy back to her cottage, hoping someone would claim him soon. At the cottage, Mrs Honeydew gave the puppy a bowl of fresh milk and a soft blanket to curl up in. He devoured the milk and snuggled into the blanket, finally relaxing for the first time. Mrs Honeydew named him Lucky for his good fortune in finding her. Days turned into weeks and Lucky thrived in Mrs Honeydew's care. He chased butterflies in the meadow, played fetch with sticks and napped in sunbeams on the porch. His fur grew thick and shiny and his playful bark filled the cottage with joy. Mrs Honeydew took Lucky with her on her rounds, delivering jams and jellies to the villagers. Everyone fell in love with the charming puppy. Mr Miller, the baker, gave him warm croissants. Miss Daisy, the florist, showered him with rose petals, and old George, the farmer, let him chase chickens in the yard. But despite all the love, Lucky still had the sadness in his eyes. He often wandered to the end of Lavender Lane, gazing down the dusty road, ears perked for any familiar sound. Mrs Honeydew knew he longed for his home and family. One morning a loud clatter broke the morning peace. Mrs Honeydew looked out to see a cart overturned by the lane gate. A young girl, tears streaming down her face, sat amidst the spilled vegetables. Lucky, hearing the cries, dashed out of the cottage. He barked excitedly, wagging his tail furiously. The girl looked up, her eyes widened in disbelief. It was Lucky. Charlie, she cried, scrambling to her feet and rushing towards him. Lucky yelped with joy, licking her face with frantic kisses. In her arms he was finally home. The girl, whose name was Sarah, explained that Lucky had escaped from their farm down the road. She had searched for him everywhere, heartbroken. Now they were reunited, tears turning into laughter. Mrs Honeydew, though sad to see Lucky go, felt a warmth in her heart. She had cared for a lost soul and helped reunite him with his family. It was a reward better than any jam or jelly. However, the story didn't end there. Sarah's father, a stern man named John, approached Mrs Honeydew with a scowl. Thank you for finding our dog, he grumbled, not quite meeting her eyes. Of course, replied Mrs Honeydew, feeling a pang of disappointment. Sarah, sensing the tension, tugged on her father's arm. Dad, can't we stay a little longer? Mrs Honeydew makes the best blueberry jam and she lets Lucky play with the chickens. John's mm. face softened a little. He looked at Lucky, who was already begging for belly rubs from Mrs Honeydew. A faint smile tugged at the corner of his lips. Well, all right, he finally conceded, but just for a little while. And Lucky, you stay away from those feathery beasts. The afternoon unfolded into a warm gathering. Mrs Honeydew brewed tea and served her famous jam, the golden light of the setting sun warming their faces. As Lucky chased chickens under John's watchful eye, Sarah confided in Mrs Honeydew about her dream of becoming a veterinarian. 
Mrs. Honeydew listened intently, her own eyes twinkling. You have a kind heart, Sarah, she said, and the way with animals, with dedication and hard work, you can achieve anything. That night, as John and Sarah returned to their farm, a promise hung in the air. Mrs. Honeydew would become Sarah's mentor, sharing her knowledge of herbal remedies and natural cures for animals. In the following weeks, Lavender Lane witnessed a beautiful blossoming of friendship. Every Saturday, Sarah and Lucky would trot down the lane, laughter echoing in the air, to learn from Mrs. Honeydew's wisdom. The cottage porch became a classroom, filled with the scent of lavender and chamomile, as Sarah diligently took notes in a little red notebook. Meanwhile, Lucky, ever the enthusiastic student, practice on Mrs. Honeydew's menagerie of rescued farm animals, a one-eyed rooster named Barnaby, a limping sheep called Daisy, and a grumpy but secretly affectionate cat named Whiskers. One day Sarah noticed Barnaby struggling to breathe. His usual crow was reduced to a weak rasp. With Mrs. Honeydew's guidance, Sarah diagnosed him with a respiratory infection, Remembering her lessons about natural remedies, she brewed a fragrant tea from Mrs. Honeydew's herb garden and gently coaxed Barnaby to drink it. Days later, Barnaby crowed with restored vigour, waking the entire village with his joyous proclamation. News of Sarah's quick thinking and herbal skills spread like wildfire. Soon, villagers were knocking on Mrs. Honeydew's door, not just for jam, but for Sarah's growing expertise in caring for the animals. Under the summer sun and the watchful gaze of Lavender Lane's purple blossoms, Sarah's dream began to take root. She wasn't just a girl with a lost puppy anymore. She was becoming the village's young animal healer, her red notebook filled with a wealth of knowledge and her hands imbued with a gentle touch. One crisp autumn morning, a sleek, black car pulled up to Mrs. Honeydew's cottage. A distinguished woman in a tweed jacket stepped out, her face crinkled with worry. Her prize show horse, Diamond, was suffering from a mysterious limp. Sarah, now confident and poised, stepped forward. With Lucky by her side and Mrs. Honeydew's encouraging smile, she examined Diamond. Gently palpating his leg, and asking astute questions. After a thorough diagnosis, Sarah recommended a combination of herbal poultices and rest, drawing on both Mrs. Honeydew's wisdom and the modern veterinary text she had meticulously studied. Days later, Diamond cantered back onto Lavender Lane, his limp a distant memory. The woman, now beaming with relief, showered Sarah with praise and a hefty donation to her animal fund. News of Sarah's success reached further than just the village. The whispers of a gifted young healer began to travel to the nearby town. As seasons turned and Lavender Lane changed its shoes, Sarah's journey continued. She built a small clinic on the outskirts of the village, a haven for all creatures great and small. Lucky, her ever faithful companion, greeted patients with a wagging tail and became her furry assistant, often offering comfort and entertainment even in the most anxious moments. Mrs. Honeydew, proud as a peacock, continued to be Sarah's mentor and confidant. They shared teas on the porch, reminiscing about a lost puppy and the unexpected path that blossomed from his arrival. And so the story of the lost puppy of Lavender Lane did not end in a reunion, but in the blossoming of a dream. It was a testament to the power of kindness, mentorship, and a little bit of magic, brewed beneath the golden sun and the purple scent of a village called Lavender Lane. Vocabulary Notes Story Setting Lavender Lane, a charming village with purple fields of lavender flowers. Cottage, Mrs. Honeydew's small, cosy home. Meadow, a field of flowers and grass. Porch, a covered entrance at the front of a house. Lane, 
a narrow road used for walking or bicycles. Cart, a small vehicle pulled by a horse or donkey. Farm, land used for growing crops and raising animals. Characters, Mrs. Honeydew, a kind and wise woman known for her delicious jam and jelly. Lucky, a lost puppy rescued by Mrs. Honeydew. Sarah, a young girl who loves animals and dreams of becoming a veterinarian. John, Sarah's stern father, initially wary of Mrs. Honeydew and Lucky. Mr. Miller, the village baker known for his warm croissants. Miss Daisy, the florist, loves showering Lucky with rose petals. Old George, the farmer, lets Lucky chase chickens in his yard. Barnaby, a one-eyed rooster rescued by Mrs. Honeydew. Daisy, a limping sheep rescued by Mrs. Honeydew. Whiskers, a grumpy but secretly affectionate cat rescued by Mrs. Honeydew. Diamond, a prize show horse belonging to a distinguished woman. Key verbs and phrases. Hummed, sang softly without words. Scooped up, quickly lifted and held some, someone or something in your arms. Thrived, grew well and happily. Dashed out, rushed out quickly. Scowled, frowned heavily with anger or disapproval. Conceded, admitted that someone else is right or has won. Blossomed, developed and thrived in a positive way. Menagerie, a collection of wild or unusual animals. Diagnosed, identified the cause of an illness or problem. Palpating, gently feeling with your fingertips to examine something. Astute, showing an ability to understand things quickly and well. Poultices, soft warm mixtures of herbs or other ingredients applied to a wound or sore area. Cantered, moved at a controlled gallop. Hefty, large and heavy. Haven, a safe and peaceful place. Confidant, a person whom you trust with your secrets and feelings. Reminiscing, talking about pleasant memories from the past. Testament, something that serves as proof or evidence of something else. Descriptive vocabulary. Shimmered, shone with a gentle light. Plump, pleasantly round and full. Frantic, very worried or upset. Sunbeams, rays of sunlight shining through trees or clouds. Golden light, warm and bright sunlight. Twinkled, shone brightly with quick flashes of light. Crisp autumn morning, a cool and refreshing morning in the fall. Sleek black car, a shiny, smooth car in the colour black. Tweed jacket, a rough woven fabric jacket. Crinkled with worry. A face with frown lines from being worried. Prize show horse. A horse trained and bred to compete in competitions. Distraught. Deeply upset or worried. Equestrian. A person who rides horses. Confident and poised. Secure of oneself and having good posture. Astute questions. Intelligent and insightful questions. Gaunt, thin and lacking muscle. Limp, walk with difficulty. Flinched, moved involuntarily, usually because of pain or surprise. Cantered, moved at a controlled gallop. Beaming with relief, smiling brightly from feeling better. Whispers, quiet rumours or gossip. Haven, a safe and peaceful place. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Adobe AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, 
please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.